Hey learners, welcome to Facts and Maths. This is the platform where we discuss topics related to facts and maths. By facts, we mean interesting topics buzzing around the elements of this awesome universe. And by maths, it's obvious we engage in solving some of the interesting problems to buff our math skills. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start. Here's a problem for you. Let G be a commutative group of order PQ. Then G is cyclic whenever P and Q are primes. If you want to give a try, then you can pause the video and go for it. And if not, then let's learn. So for the solution, we will use a very famous theorem known as Cauchy's theorem. The theorem states that if G be a group of finite order and if P be a prime that divides the order of G, then G contains an element of order P and precisely there exists a subgroup of order P. So now for the solution, since it is said that G is a group of order PQ whenever P and Q are primes then we can use the Cauchy's theorem. This theorem states that G contains two elements of order P and Q respectively and therefore there exist two subgroups H and K of order P and Q respectively. Now as H and K are cyclic subgroups of G as P and Q are primes, then the group HK exists and it is cyclic as H and K are cyclic. And it can also be written that order of HK equals to order of H multiplied by order of K divided by order of H intersection K. Since H and K are cyclic subgroups of G with different orders P and Q, then order of H intersection K is 1. So it appears that the order of the group HK is PQ. And it is also said that G is a commutative group. And again, since HK is a cyclic group with the generating group H union K, then any element of HK is of order PQ which implies that G contains an element of order PQ hence G is cyclic